Guys, 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 it happened. It happened. The Woj Bomb has been dropped. Kawhi Leonard has been traded. The trade, finally, it finally happened. We finally know where he's going, or, I don't know, I'll, I'll get to that later. Maybe he's not going to actually do anything there, but okay. So, Woj tweeted out that Kawhi and Danny Green have been traded to Toronto for DeMar DeRozan, Jakob Portel, and a 2019 first round pick that is protected. It's, prote it's a protected first round pick, but wow. Wow, I'm kind of still processing processing this because I was sleeping when all this news came out. So let me let me just explain here for a minute how I found this out because it's just it, you'll understand why I'm shocked then. So I didn't have to go to work today, so I'm sleeping in. You know, wake up at 10:15. I think I go through all the notifications on my phone on my home screen. Then I unlock my phone, go on social media, all that, do my morning rounds of social media. Which now that I think about, it, actually. It's probably not great to go on social media as soon as you wake up be like, oh, good morning, Instagram, good morning, Twitter, let me just, I'm not even awake, but let me just scroll through this, yeah. Probably not good for my health, but yeah, so I'm on Twitter, scrolling through, and I see these Kawaii tweets, and one of them was like, Kawaii and Pop's relationship is ruined forever now, and I was like, oh, why is someone tweeting that out? <laughs> well, I wonder why, and then I saw something, my hair is, my hair is really annoying, but yeah, then I saw something, what the freak is my hair doing, sorry. Sorry, okay. Then I saw something that was, then I saw something, so, then I saw a picture that was Kawhi, LeBron, and Paul George, and you know, that picture of them, all of them in the Lakers uniform, and it said like, oh, this will never happen. And then I'm like, hmm, this is weird, two Kawhi tweets in one scrolling of Twitter? What could be going on? And you know, I just woke up, so my brain, it's, it's still doing its warm-up stretches and all that, and I was like, all right, brain, it's time to go. Let's go on the trending page here. Let's go on the Discover page and see what's trending, and of course, of course, behold, every word about this trade is trending. Kawaii, DeMarta Rosen, Toronto, San Antonio, Spurs, right? all, just, all, all of that is just trending. So I'm like, oh yeah, it makes sense. That's why those tweets are happening. But when I saw this trade, let me tell you this, when I saw what was included in this trade, what Toronto included the, when this, in this trade, I said, what? I literally sat there in bed and said, what? It just, what, what are they doing? Do they think they're gonna magically somehow get Kawhi to stay there after the season? Do they think they're gonna like have, do they have some, they must, they must. If they're doing this, they must think they have some great plan in place. I'm not saying it is a great plan, but they might think they have a great plan in, pl in place. And you know, listen to this tweet from Chris Haynes. Chris Haynes tweeted out, quote, Kawhi Leonard has no desire to play in Toronto. League sources tell ESPN, end quote, and tweet all that. So this had me thinking, shoot, what if Kawhi pulls another like injury thing and decides, oh yeah, I'm not playing this season either. What, what if that happens again? Then Toronto, wow, you guys made a big mistake, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, that, that might not happen, but shoot, I think this is gonna be some drama. I think some drama is gonna happen here because if he doesn't want to go there, why, why would he just decide to play? You know, he didn't want to be in San Antonio last year and that was a team that drafted him that he had a relationship with even though there might have been some problems, why would he just want to go play for the Raptors now, a team he has no relationship with, and that he said he doesn't want to play for, why would he just be like, all right, I'm ready to suit up, let's go, team, no, like, uh, I don't know, why would he, why would he, I don't, I just don't see him really putting himself out there, really changing his attitude to be like, all right, I'm ready to play and give it my all, I think there's going to be some issues. Toronto, I don't know what, I don't know what they have in their back pocket, I don't know, they must think they have some great plan, some great idea, to get him to be happy there, but we we thought the drama was intense in San Antonio with him. I think I think it's going to be ten times more intense in Toronto because he doesn't want to go. He wanted to be on the Lakers. He's now he's going to be salty probably all season. And who knows who knows what he's going to do. Who knows if he's going to play. If he's not going to play, I have a feeling he'll play. I think him not playing would be very drastic and very dramatic. But I just I don't. I guess he won't be happy. And. I just, I think, he, I mean, I don't know what I was going to say. I think he's leaving next year. No, obviously, I think he wants to go to L.A. next year. I think we all know he wants to go to L.A. next year. And I guess Toronto's going to be like, all right, then we're rebuilding. I think that's what I've seen a lot of news about is this is it. This is their last chance or this is their last try. And if they don't, if they don't pull this out with Kawhi, they got to go rebuild. They got to, they got to do that. Even though the East is so weak, even though the East is so weak, I guess, I guess they're like, all right. We'll start the rebuild then, but they gave up a first. They gave out their 2019 first round pick. 
I don't know what that was about. If anything, I would try to, if, if their plan was to try to keep Kawhi, and if they couldn't rebuild, I wouldn't have included a first round pick in that trade. I mean, the Spurs absolutely robbed Toronto. The Spurs are probably like, oh, right, look at this. We got, we got first round picks. We got DeMar DeRozan, who I think is actually going to do amazing under Popovich. That's going to be something really, like, that we should keep an eye on how he does under Popovich. He should have a, he should have an all-star season again this year. Um, that's going to be, San Antonio, San Antonio might actually be pretty, pretty good this year, even in the West. I don't know. Let's, let's see what else they can do. They have DeJounte Murray, maybe he'll develop a little more there. But wow, I'm just, I'm still, I'm just still in shock from this trade. It's going to be so interesting to see. I keep saying interesting. I'm sorry. I know it's not like a cool word to use all the time, but it's going to be, it's going to be just intense. That's not the right word either. I'm see, I'm still processing. I haven't eaten anything today. Sorry, you guys, you guys don't care about that, but yeah, it's going to be, it's going to, we got to keep an eye on this whole situation. It's going to be, it's going to be a storyline. I think throughout the whole season, I keep saying it's going to be, I need, I need to wrap up this video guys. But yeah, that's it. Make sure you drop a like, like, um, drop a comment. What do you think about this whole trade? I think it's crazy, obviously, and make sure you subscribe. That's all, guys. Peace out.